Are you still on Windows 10? Security updates ended on October 14th. And you do not want to enroll in the Microsoft Security Updates program, the ESU program. It's $61 for the first year. And it doubles after the first year for the maximum of three years. And it's for each device, $61 for each device. Why not just upgrade to Windows 11 25H2? It's free, and I'm going to show you how to do that coming up. Before we get started, you'll need to have a Windows 11 25H2 ISO. If you do not have the ISO, I'll have the download link and the description description so if you have the ISO let's get started so you're going to right click the ISO and you're going to mount it okay so after you mount it you're going to double click on setup you're gonna click yes now here we're going to click on uh, the change how to set up downloads updates we're going to click on not right now Okay, we're going to click on next. Okay, so we're going to accept the license term. Okay, so when we're here, it's going to say install 11 Pro, and it's going to keep all your personal files and apps. Now we're going to click on install. After you click on install, it's going to go to a blue screen like this. Um, it's going to install Windows 11, and after that, it'll go to a black screen that will install all of the devices and updates and then when it gets past that to a login screen we'll continue there okay so now that we're at the login screen we're going to log in there we have it windows 11 so to check the windows 11 feature you're on or version should be 25H2. We just upgraded from Windows 10 22H2 to Windows 11 Pro 25H2. Now, bear in mind, if you have Windows 10 Home, it'll upgrade it to Windows 11 Home. So here, let's slide your start menu to the left. To do that, you go to right click the taskbar, go to taskbar settings, and then go to taskbar behavior, and then we're going to taskbar alignment, we're gonna go left. Now it looks like a Windows operating system taskbar. All right, so one more thing is if you open File Explorer, you go to this PC, C drive, you're going to have a Windows.old folder. Basically, if you want to revert back to Windows 10, you can. By going into the settings of Windows 11, there's an option where you can revert back to Windows 10. Now, if you delete this folder through the disk cleanup, then you will not be able to go back to Windows 10. Okay, so that is all for this episode. For more Windows 11 content, tips, tricks, and everything dealing with the Windows operating system, subscribe and turn your bell notification on. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.